we will be analyzing this in this video 5x squared plus 10y squared equals 10. What does all of this mean? If you divide this by 10 and everything across by 10, what are we looking at? x squared over 2 plus y squared over 1 is equal to 1. Now let me rewrite this as this x squared over root 2 whole square plus y squared over 1 square is equal to 1. I'm looking here at now an ellipse. I have here which looks something like x squared or a squared plus y squared over b squared is equal to 1. I'm seeing here an a is equal to root 2, b is equal to 1. What does this mean? I'm looking here at a center which is about the origin because this right here is an ellipse representation in the standard form where the center of that ellipse is around the origin. We have major axis vertices which are based on the A and they'll be plus and minus root 2 comma 0. I will have here minor axis vertices which will be based along the y axis 0 comma plus and minus 1. We can easily determine the focal point. For ellipse, focal point is always equal to this c square is equal to a square minus b square. You run these in, I'll have a root 2 square minus 1 square, which will be a 2 minus 1. Root of that will be a 1. I know here c is equal to 1. That means I'll be looking at focal points, which will be plus and minus 1 comma 0. Let's put these c things together. We have a center here at the origin. I have here plus and minus root 2. These are my vertices. Let's call this 1, 2, 1, and 2. I have a 1 here, 1 here. This plus and minus root 2 will fall somewhere in between here, and these will be your vertices, your endpoints. Look over here at your focal point, plus and minus 1, comma, 0. That will be right over here and 1 here. I have my minor axis endpoint, 0, comma, plus and minus 1. Your ellipse will look something like this. The unconnected dots in between will be your focal points. Here's your vertex, here's your vertex, here's your minor axis endpoint, here's your other minor axis endpoint, and your center, and this right here represents our ellipse. If you want to determine the eccentricity of this ellipse, how less oval or how more oval or how circular it is, you can. Eccentricity is equal to C or A. I have C and A values 1 and root 2. My eccentricity here will be 1 over root 2, and it brings our analysis to an end.